No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high-quality music. Hey, I'm Ryan with No Film School, and we're here with Emery from Frame.io, which is a collaborative editing tool. Uh, we've got it live here at the Red Booth at NAB. Uh, Emery, congratulations on the premiere launch. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what that, uh, what's new about that? Sure. So thanks. We we launched it last week, just before NAB, and the um, the Frame.io integration for Premiere Pro. It's really a lot more than an integration. We took the entire Frame.io web application, which I know you've you've used a little bit over the over the past year, and we've re-engineered it and redesigned it for Adobe's extension model. So if you're familiar with the Frame.io web application, you now have all of that accessible directly inside Premiere. And then we did a lot of cool stuff by connecting our our Frame.io app directly to the Premiere API for doing like media exchange and, and commenting, syncing exchange and things like that. So Frame.io, it's a um, it's a video cloud collaboration platform, and it replaces the kind of hodgepodge of different services that people might be using today um, while they're working on a video. And kind of the you know the bigger the project is, the more complicated it gets. You have tons of people chiming in at all different times with different notes, and um, it, it becomes a mess. And that, that creative process is very iterative. So you don't just do that once; you do that ten times or fifty times. And what you wind up with is all your media and your conversa conversations just spread out across all these different services, and it's it's nearly impossible to manage. So Frame.io kind of brings that into all into one cohesive interface where you can share large media files, share work in progress review, do time stamped comments. Uh, we have annotations so you can draw directly on video frames. We manage version control. Just kind of keeps that whole process super tight and organized. The key with the Premiere integration is that if you're an editor, you don't you don't, you don't have to switch context. So um, you know your your clients or other people that you work with can be working in the Frame.io web app, but you stay in Premiere and can pretty much do everything. So I'm here in uh, I have a timeline in Premiere, and the first thing I want to do is I want to get this up to Frame.io so I can start um, you know collaborating with my with my teammates with my clients. So I'll go to the upload option. I'll say upload active sequence. We have some presets here that you can choose from. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit web 720, and I'll kick off this upload. So what's happening is we start a uh, media encoder in the background. This file is being rendered. And as soon as that render is complete, it's going gonna, it's gonna to auto version to um, version 18. So we've uploaded this 17 times today already. So now it just went up to version 18. And the upload and Frame.io is doing that auto versioning? Yeah, Frame.io is doing that. All you do is hit upload. So this is now being um, now being uploaded. And while that's happening, let's jump over to this other, this other sequence. So I have this Taylor Swift music video that was shot on Red. And Frame.io first, it opens the correct sequence. I opened a file in Frame.io, and it knows what sequence that belongs to. So it opened the sequence over here. And one of the coolest things is Videos in Frame.io are now synced to the Premiere timeline. So when I scrub in Frame.io, it syncs in Premiere. Um, these comments that I have under, uh, these little comment heads that I have here, I can just hover over a comment and see what that person had to say. But if I click on it, the video minimizes. It goes to that frame in my sequence where I can immediately take action on it. And now I have this nice little view where I can just click through my comments get taken to that frame every single time. I can mark stuff off as complete. These were already marked as complete, but let's say I marked this off as complete. It was a note I got from my client, and now I go back and I'm ready to upload a new version. So you've just you know, removed 10 manual steps that you would have had to do before, and you really, um, you know, it feels like you really have the people that you're working with inside of your, inside of your timeline. So that clip that we just uploaded is this guy. So let's, let's jump into this clip, and I'm gonna load the same project on on the Frame.io web application. So this is called NAB Demo. And let's go to the shot, here it is. So now say um, you uploaded this clip, your, your clients got notified that it was ready to view. They're in the web application here, they start watching it. And they say, wow, love this shot. Now I come back over here to Premiere, and that comment just popped in in real time while I'm sitting here working on it. So I can immediately hover over it, see that comment, click on it, get taken to that frame. Just got to refresh this for a minute. So I can click on this comment head. I'm taken directly to that frame where my client left the comment. I can take action on it and, uh, and keep the creative process flowing.
in addition to sending, uh, you know, uploading a sequence, you can also upload project files. So I, if I say upload project file, it saves the current state of the project and kicks up the project file. So this really acts as like a shared cloud bin. Multiple editors can have this open. Um, you know, the other editor on the other side can just can then go and import this file and it brings it right into Premiere. You can say, you know, import a selected sequence and, and off you go for sharing, for sharing project files. Are people also storing uh, the original source media? Yeah, so anything that you upload to Frame.io, we store that original source media. And like, for example, with uploading entire bins, I can say upload bin, and this will upload all of the source media from the bin. I can do everything in the project, or I could choose a, a particular folder, and that'll just take the footage straight off your hard drive and right into Frame.io. When it gets to Frame.io, it'll be transcoded so it can play back on the web, but those original files are what's stored. And we have uh, different plans that have different storage amounts for each plan. We're planning on increasing that storage soon. So right now the storage is kind of tied to the plan, but what we found is that some people need a lot of users and maybe not a lot of storage, and some people need um, tons of storage and not a lot of users. So we're gonna kind of decouple that from our pricing. But right now we have a plan that starts at $15 a month uh, and a plan that goes up to $150 a month, and that, that top end plan is 400 gigs of storage. Now that we're further along and um, you know, we've raised venture capital, we're planning on increasing those storage capacities significantly. We want people to, to be able to actually you know, upload entire bins full of, of source footage that might be in the terabytes of, of uh, kind of storage space. So where can people, uh, is there a trial? What's, what's the next state, step someone takes if they're interested in, in Frame.io? So the Premiere extension is entirely free. It comes with any of the, um, or I should say it's not an additional cost. It comes with any of the Frame.io subscriptions. And you can go to frame.io forward slash Premiere to see the Premiere specific stuff or just frame.io. Is there a, a, a free trial or how does that work? There's a free trial for, for Frame.io, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. You're welcome.